What's going on guys, Firewolf Tech here, showing you guys the Rogue Strix Arion NVMe SSD enclosure. I'm going to go ahead and open this up and show you guys all around. Now I just recently upgraded my NVMe on my PC and since I have a 2TB 970B EVO Plus, instead of putting it on the PC itself, I decided to use an enclosure so that I could have very fast speeds. So I'm gonna show you guys how to put this on. So the, good, the cool thing about this is that it features USB 3.2 Gen 2, and it comes with a USB A to C and C to C cable, which is pretty awesome. And it also comes integrated with Aura Sync, which is pretty cool. And honestly, out of all the enclosures, this one looks the coolest. So right in the back, we can see that it's compatible with M.2, 2280, 2260, 2242, and 2230. And it already comes with thermal pads, which will definitely dissipate heat. And this is really important. So let's go ahead and check it out. Now it's important to know that this will be compatible with Mac as well as Windows as well. And there we have the enclosure over here. Let's go ahead and take it out. And there we have it guys. Honestly, my first impression is that this is really, really nice. I love how it looks. It feels really nice, very, very sturdy. I do feel like a very hard, kind of like an aluminum design, like very metally. So I do like that a lot. I think the pattern looks super cool. You can see right in the bottom here, this is gonna be our type C port over here. And we can see that little hole here for the pin. Here's the actual little pin here. And it comes with a really nice keychain holder. We can see that it has like a little R, resemblance the ROG logo, which is pretty awesome. And this is the actual kind of like case here, so you can use the actual keychain over here. So I love how they provide so many different accessories. And right in the bottom, we're going to have all the goodies, which is going to be used to connect it to the actual PC or Mac. Looks like we're going to get a really nice USB-A to Type-C, and this is going to support USB 3.2 Gen 2. So it's really important to use a dedicated cable to ensure you're getting the maximum speeds. And you also want to make sure that your computer, your PC, your Mac also supports USB 3.2 to ensure you're getting the fast write and read speeds. And this is going to be your Type-C to Type-C cable. So that way you have multiple ways to connect, which is really awesome. And then they give us a really nice insulation guide here. And it comes with a little user manual here. All right, let's go ahead and install the NVMe over here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna locate the little pin circle over here. We're gonna use the included key. And once I push that in, this portion automatically opens. All right, here's the internals of it. And what I like about this is that it features all of these different sizes over here, and it also features a toolless installation. And this is where we're gonna use to install the actual M.2 right over here. Right, and then right here we have thermal stickers here, which is really cool. All right, since it's initially bolted on really hard, I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew it real quick. Let's go ahead and take this out. You're gonna take your NVV M.2 and you're gonna locate the right side of this. And then you're just going to line it up right over here. Now, once we have our SSD installed, you're gonna go ahead and put in the screw over here. Now you're gonna notice a little spacer in between. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that in between the actual SSD just like this. And then we're going to line it up and then we're gonna screw it in place. And then we're gonna use the installation tool. I forgot that you can actually use this to unscrew it. I didn't even need the Phillips head screwdriver. So I'm gonna use this to kind of turn it in to make sure it's nice and flush. Okay, you don't have to really over tighten it. So just like that, we have it nice and installed. And now it's time to put in the enclosure back. So all we're gonna do is we're going to line it up on the top right over here, top left over here, sorry. And line it up over here. And over here, we're going to match it up with these three over here. And it should close with no problem. 
Now that we have it perfectly installed, let's go ahead and put in this case here to get the full effect. All right, now we have it nice and covered with the keychain on. This is really, really cool. You can definitely use this to clip on anything that you like, whether it's a backpack, makes traveling very easy and simple, and it feels really rugged in the hand, so I do love that it lasts. Let's go ahead and plug it in and see how it works. All right, so I have my MacBook Pro 16 inch here. Um, it does feature Thunderbolt 4, so let's go ahead and see if it detects the highest speeds possible. So using the Arion enclosure here, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, plug in the Type-C cable over here. And let's see how it lights up. Hit allow accessory. And look at that guys, absolutely beautiful. I mean, this thing lights up really nice. Let's go ahead and turn off the lights here. All right, there we go. We have the lights dimmed off here so you can see how it flashes right now it's going through a rainbow cycle here i believe you do have to use aura sync to change the settings here but i do like the changing colors and i think it looks really nice at nighttime all right so i'm actually going to format this ssd over here so using the mac disk utility i'm going to set it up name it two terabyte 970 evo and i'm going to format it ex exfat which will be compatible for both mac and Windows. If you're just using Mac and you want the best performance for Mac, then you would choose APFS, but uh, I wanna use this for multiple devices such as my Mac and my PC, so I'm gonna use it this way. I'm gonna erase it, reformat it. Let's go ahead and see how that works. All right, erase is complete. Perfect, now we have two terabyte 970 EVO here, and we have basically two terabytes of storage, which is really awesome. All right, looks like it let me select this. So let's go ahead and test out the speeds here. Let's see if I can get this bigger. Nope, I can't. Let's hit start. All right, so looks like I'm getting about 615 megabits per second writes and 780 for read. And for comparison, I have my T7 Shield connected over here. And this is going to be an external SSD. So let's see how that one fares. All right, so as you can see here, for the T7 Shield, we have a really, really slow write speeds. I was averaging about 100 megabits per second. The read speeds are very quick, but the write speeds are very slow. So clearly the Arion with the, with the Samsung 2TB 970 EVO Plus is a perfect combination. And again, if you have an even better NVMe, then you're probably gonna see even better performance. But I'm perfectly content with the performance that I'm getting with this one and actually feeling it, um, I do feel it a little bit on the uh, very mildly warm, not too hot at all, but this should definitely keep your NVMe perfectly cool with the thermal pads and the aluminum shape. And I just absolutely love the design of this and how it looks. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If you guys enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. And as always, thanks so much for watching guys.